What's up, YouTube? Um, fans of the channel, uh, and whoever else might be watching, probably the people I'm forcing to watch this video. So, uh, I'm out driving with my sister. We don't need to really look at her anymore. I just want to let you know that I'm not driving, so it's safe for me to record this uh, for legal purposes. <clears throat> I am uh, currently on the Sawmill Parkway in Westchester County. And I just wanted to, uh, while I was on it, and I've been driving on it every day now for uh, probably two months, uh, I just wanted to leave a review of the parkway itself. Um, and, you know, I might do like a pros and cons thing. So this just came to me, you know, that this parkway should have some kind of feedback uh, for how it is in its current state so right off the bat i'll just say absolutely beautiful i mean trees it's green um you got nice rolling hills uh up ahead you have you know occasionally streams run across i mean running alongside it so beautiful very aesthetic right exactly what you want out of a parkway doesn't look too uh, invasive as far as roadways go. Uh, another thing, very curvy, all right? Uh, I was just explaining to my sister, um, I like my roads a little curvy, you know? It's, it's fun that way. Uh, I like having a couple curves to ride on. Um, basically, I uh, think Mario Kart, right? You like drifting around the corners and it's, it's great. Those are pretty much the pros that I can think of right now. You know, I, I guess the paving is decent. So, you know, not a lot of bumps along the way. So it's, it's pretty nice. Um, right, so now let's get to the main part of why we're watching this and why I'm making this is the cons because holy crap, are there a ton of cons. Um, right off the bat, very thin, as parkways usually are, but given the amount of traffic, we have to swim through cars a lot, uh, on weekday mornings at least. Um, let's talk, uh, water retention, anytime it's raining. Oh, this is the worst road to ride on when you're, when it's raining, because you will start hydroplaning. I mean, it's ridiculous. So, two cons right there. Right off the bat, those are easy, all right? Um, how about just, what? Yeah, let's talk about the speed limit, all right? So it'll go from 65 to a 50 mile per hour speed limit, like that. Where's 55? Where's 55? Well, we just, we're just forgetting about 55 now? We don't care about 55. All right, you know what? Fine. But guess who follows that speed limit? No one. Absolutely no one. It'll be a 50 mile per hour speed limit and everybody's going minimum 65, minimum 70, all right? How am I supposed to know if a cop is gonna catch me or not if I don't know whether I'm going too fast? Do I go 50 and piss off everybody on the road or do I go 75 and try to keep up? and then get caught by a cop. Am I going to going to get caught by a cop? Because I have no idea. Do better, Sawmill Parkway. Do better, all right? Um, how about the construction on the sides? The random porta-potties? I mean, I said it was aesthetic, but sometimes it's just straight up butt ugly, dude. Come on, do better. Do better, Sawmill. Um, this, this next one, it's a con. Um, Stoplights. Why the hell are you putting an intersection in the middle of a goddamn parkway? And to reiterate the speed limit from before, I'm coming in flying at 75 <laughs> miles per hour on a 65 mile per hour zone. All of a sudden there's a red light. What gives? What gives? <clears throat> it doesn't make sense and this will happen on a 50 mile per hour zone too 
You, the speed limit is 50 miles per hour. How fast is everybody else going? 75. <laughs> oh, what's that up ahead? Oh, it's a stoplight. Utterly ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. All right. Just porta potties everywhere. You're leaving construction trucks abandoned. I don't see anyone here. I don't see anyone doing actual work. I just see people loitering on the side of the parkway dressed in construction clothes. If you're not working, why are you there? And you might be like, hey, maybe they work later. Then come in later. Why are you hanging around on the side of a parkway? It makes no sense. They're not even setting up. They just park their goddamn construction trucks on the side and leave. For what? We're going on 80 right now. We were going at 80 miles per hour, and at how fast is the zone? 55. Oh, oh, they, they remembered 55. They finally found 55. Utter nonsense. Utter nonsense. I've never gotten this passionate about a roadway. Just, we just sped through another intersection. I mean, my God, man. What are, the, what are these abandoned buildings on the side with graffiti all over them? Absolutely terrible parkway system. Oh, we just we just sped past a cop going the other way. Does he care? I've done that millions of times. And I mean, I've sped. I've gone 85 on this thing. All right. I've sped by cops. They don't care. What if they start caring? When would I know? How would I know if they started caring until they caught me? We need a better system. Here's an indictment of Westchester. Who the hell names the town Chappaqua? Chappaqua. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right. Chappaqua. Found out it's, it's French for something. I have no idea. It's probably French. All the gas stations are dumb expensive. Why is gas so expensive in Westchester? Why? Why? Why do I have to pay three bucks for a gallon of gas? I could literally travel 20 miles the other way and pay a dollar fifty. Across the bridge, it's a whole dollar less. Why is it so expensive here? Do you not have oil? Does this county not moisturize? Anyway, I just wanted to get that out of my system. Do better, Sawmill. I hope the government finds this and takes this feedback seriously, because I mean it. All right. Oh, and these railways are pretty rusty. How about we fix those up, huh? Just throw some like vinegar and baking soda on it let it fizzle and take away that rust. Basic third grade science. All right. I'll catch you on the other side. See you guys later.